just noticing what's already here. And even in that suggestion, you have to stop to notice what's already here. Stopping is not necessarily what we think it is. My parents used to tell me to stop all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> but it's not anything to do with doing. It's got to do with who's doing. Because all of life is already doing. When we think of nature, we think of silence of nature. But if you go into the forest, you find it's very noisy. I don't know about the forest where you are, but the forest where I come from, there's so much life, so many insects. They're all singing and dancing quite naturally. And yet we love being in nature. We love being in the forest because it is a silence that has got nothing to do with doing. And so then to see in yourself, if you drop your attention inside, maybe to let your mind go into the forest of your own body. And there you might start to listen to the singing and the dancing that's happening in your own body. You notice that your body is alive, and yet so silent. Silent of a me and a you, of a doer separate to the doing. And can you tell the difference between listening and falling deeper inside yourself? that maybe they're the same thing. And you're invited in this moment to listen so deeply that you fall deeper and deeper inside yourself. And in this listening, there's no outcome. There's no objective. There's nothing to get. No result that's needed in particular. And the listener and the listening and what's being listened to, they can be seen as all one, no separation, as really the, the listener melts from a separate individual somebody into pure listening, with no thing behind it. And all of that can be just another signal to stop and open and let your mind rest so deeply inside the source of all minds. And how good it feels to listen to the body. And as you listen closely, you see that there's no separation between the listening and the body. Just like no separation between consciousness and the objects in consciousness. And yet there's this appearance of listening and what's being listened to. And this is the play and the dance. And as you let yourself fall deeper inside yourself, you can play with the listening into your body where your attention can go into any place inside your body. It can go to places where perhaps there is some tension and as it goes into the place that there's perhaps some tension or where it's calling for your attention, somehow this listening has a powerful effect, sometimes a powerful and very subtle. But just listening and just letting your attention go into a certain place, it changes it somehow. I don't know how and I don't know why but you can just let your attention go to all the different places in your body and it can go also on different levels. It can be on the macro level, perhaps a muscle, perhaps a whole area like the chest or the stomach or the back or the neck. And then it can start to go into other dimensional levels where perhaps you can imagine your attention entering into the cells. And as the attention enters into the cells, 
just your attention has an effect on the cells. You can notice the different levels of dimensions that within the cells there are mitochondria, there are cell walls, there's water and other liquids and chemicals. And within that there are also DNA. And that's another dimension that you can listen to. And you can notice how this listening is another way of saying, don't do anything in particular. Don't be anyone in particular. And that this listening is happening quite naturally. And this listening happens on so many levels. It's such a mystery that you don't even need to know how. You don't even need to know what. You don't need to know why. You don't need to know when. You'll just be enjoyed in the moment. The mystery and the surprise of it. I wonder what you discover listening to your DNA. And maybe it communicates to you, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it sings a song that you understand and maybe it doesn't. It doesn't matter. And maybe you can discover something from listening to the DNA. Maybe not. And there's certainly an innate wisdom and intelligence within the DNA. Having the instructions for building entire bodies so complex it's beyond our own brain and in fact the dna builds our brain what a mystery you may know this and i don't know if this is true but the consciousness that is listening to the dna that this consciousness was not built by the dna maybe you can discover and inquire if this consciousness was built by anything. And in this mystery, you can just enjoy, maybe not knowing, maybe the insights that you have mixed in with not knowing anything at all. You notice how good it feels to allow this insights and to allow not knowing at the same time. And all along, this intelligence, this intelligence of the DNA that builds bodies and builds trees and builds animals, and has been surviving and replicating for hundreds of millions of years. That it operates without needing our permission, without needing us to know anything in particular, and without needing us to do anything in particular. And there's something trustworthy about it. Something so trustworthy because it brought you to this moment. This innate intelligence. Millions and millions of years of evolution. Surviving and replicating. And enjoying as well. That somehow mysteriously resulted in your birth. The birth of your body that allowed consciousness to experience itself through your body. This mystery is so big, so extreme. And we have no understanding of this it. too big. And yet we can absolutely enjoy it in this moment. Enjoy the mystery and listen to the dance and the song of this mystery that expresses itself on so many levels in different dimensions, from the smallest quantum dimension, even smaller than DNA. Atoms and molecules, protons and neutrons, vibrating strings of mystery, all the way up into the cells where the cells can also dance and sing and then those cells get together with other cells and form bodies. And those bodies can dance and sing. 
and then whole bodies can get together into groups and dance and sing. And who knows when we go into the bigger dimensions. There's nothing we need to know, only to listen and recognize ourselves as that listening itself. So when the listener dissolves, there's only listening and there are the objects that are being listened to, but can you separate the listening and the objects that are being listened to? Yes, that's right. All the same. And it feels like there can be this choice. It can be, it feels like a choice, a choice to listen, a choice to let go, a choice to open. And that's just right that we can have a, an active participation in our own dancing, in our own singing. And after this choice has been made, you can see that it's all choiceless. And what a gift to be choiceless listening, not separate to choiceless singing and dancing. What a good. In recognizing these levels, we don't ever have to be caught on one level or the other. We can allow our attention to move from level to level, recognizing that the rules are different in each level, and that still something's happening without our doing, happening quite naturally on each level. So you can let your attention start to come back up to this level of multicellular organisms where all the cells are put together to create your body. And your attention can widen. And it can include a wide view of your body and what you have to do in your life, what's needed, what's calling your attention, what's here on this level this macro level. And you can see that although we think we know this macro level so well, it's just as mysterious as all the other dimensions. And there's just the same singing and dancing happening that you can listen to. And so then whenever you're ready, you can allow your attention to rest at this level of the macro and that may include opening your eyes at whatever speed that you like. And you can experiment and test with listening. Listening with your eyes even. So that there's still nothing to do. Nobody to be. Nothing to know. Good.